everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Marley you're watching Marley's inspiration I wanted to come on here real quick and do a video I wanted to let you know about a dream that I had now this dream has never been on YouTube I've never shared it on YouTube there are like I said there are some dreams that the Lord will give me and he will have me to hold on to those dreams and I don't share every dream okay I don't um, when you have a prophetic gift where you have dreams you must know when to share those dreams and when not to you must have discernment about the dreams that you are given and last night the Lord brought this dream back to my remembrance and he wants me to share it with you so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm just gonna say this dream is a warning it's a warning dream and it is being released at just the right time because the Lord never does anything without showing us what is coming okay so this dream was June 28th of 2020 which was last year we're coming to the end of 2021 so this dream was almost two years ago okay so I was teaching an underground church warning of the rapture to come we couldn't have church we were in hiding let me read that again I was teaching an underground church warning of the rapture to come we couldn't have church we were in hiding I was saying that when the rapture happens there would be people looking up to the sky and watching us come off the earth we were hiding from someone it was a whole group of us I was teaching about the rapture and how when God's protection is off the earth there will be no more peace no more smiles will be seen on the earth my fellow brothers and sisters brethren in Christ the Lord is warning and this is a warning that the longer that I waited today the Lord put such a sense of urgency in me that this video needed to be posted like ASAP so um, I obeyed him now last night a friend of mine sent me a post and when I read that post this dream came flowing back to me and I knew that I needed to go and find this dream so I went back to my notes and I started going through my dreams and I found it and when I found it the Lord reminded me of another dream that I did not write down but I remember it I was in a house and I was once again teaching underground church and people kept looking at this room like they were waiting for something to happen all of a sudden this guy comes out and he's in black solid black and he looks at me and he says I need you to come with me and I said no I'm not going with you and I rebuked him and I woke up A time is coming in the very near future and the Lord wants me to warn you because here in the US here in America we have been so blessed to not see persecution and when I say persecution I mean real persecution that um, we wouldn't know persecution if it was right in front of us in 
uh, February of last year, I had a dream where the Lord showed me persecution is coming. And it's going to come because He's going to allow it. He's going to allow persecution. And it's not this light persecution like you see, oh, I'm going to make fun of this person because they're a Christian. No, that's not the type of persecution I'm talking about. I'm talking about real, full-fledged persecution. Like what the disciples went through in the book of Acts when they were born again. When they were in the upper room, And they were baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire because they had, whenever they were born again and they were baptized in the Holy Ghost, that was the first church. The upper room, the day of Pentecost, was the first church. Whenever they started preaching in the name of Jesus when they started living for Jesus without any reservations, without any compromise, when they did everything that Jesus told them to do, when they sought God with their whole hearts, they faced persecution. Now, I'm going to go to the book of Acts because I want to read you Acts chapter 4, verse 23. In Acts chapter 4, verse 23. And being let go, they went to their own companions and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them. So when they heard that, they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, you are God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, who by the mouth of your servant David have said, Why did the nations rage and the people plot vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand. The rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For truly against your anointed servant Jesus, whom you anointed, against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together to do whatever your hand and your purpose before to be done. To do whatever your hand and your purpose determined before to be done. Now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Now, I want you to understand the church in the book of Acts, back when the Holy Spirit was first given, there was so much persecution. They experienced true persecution. Stephen was stoned. Everybody knows the story of Stephen and how he was stoned. We need to prepare our spirits because there's coming a time when we're going to go underground and we're going to literally be teaching in our homes. The churches are going to close and we will be teaching in our homes. How do I know this? Because the Lord has showed me. The Lord has showed me and others that we are going to underground church. It's just a matter of when. When. 
because if you look around and you see the people who are suffering persecution right now are they don't have a certain identification and those people are really going through it right now um, and now it's come to the point to where if you do not have a certain identification you're not able to go to church in some churches and the Lord is literally about to take the church the true church underground we are about to go into hiding why do I say this I say this because and I'm trying to use wisdom with my words something's coming and he wants you to be prepared I don't know how much of it we're going to see before the rapture, but I will tell you that we are in the beginning of sorrows and that many of us will be teaching underground churches. And it may come to a point to where the internet is completely turned off and you never see me again. But remember... It's not me that you follow. It is Jesus. Jesus, when this happens, he will show you what to do. Now, this is what I need you to do. I need you to be in prayer. Hard prayer. I'm not talking about light. I'm talking about go into full dedication, prayer, and fasting. Pray and fast ask the Lord to prepare you for what is coming this is not to bring fear this is to warn you that you need to get your house in order you need to be ready and you need to know the Word of God like the back of your hands you need to know how to get a hold of the throne room of God you need to reach reach him in prayer you need to know his voice and you need to know the enemy and what do I mean by know the enemy I mean you need to know his strategy you need to know his strategy because brothers and sisters we are coming into a time where persecution will be rampant people will run from church from house to house looking for like-minded brothers and sisters. We are coming into a time where you will not know who you can trust and who you cannot trust. Listen to my words and listen to them very closely. Jesus said this day would come. Now, lean on God. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Do not fear. We have the Holy Spirit within us. And if you're not sure if you hear the voice of God, let me walk you through a little prayer because I feel like the Lord wants me to walk you through this. I want everyone right now under the sound of my voice. I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix my mic. I want everyone under the sound of my voice to close your, ha close your eyes. Raise your hands up in the air. And I want you to say, if you do not know the Lord, if you've never gotten right with Him, if you've never been forgiven, if you've never repented, or even if you have repented and you're backslidden, I want you to repeat these words, okay? Lord Jesus, Lord, I know that I've done wrong in your sight. I know that I'm in need of forgiveness. Lord, I repent for everything that I've ever done wrong. Lord, right now, Jesus, right now, in your name, Jesus, I pray that you will baptize me in your Holy Ghost and fire. Lord, we worship you. We love you. 
We lift your name on high, Jesus. Lord, I thank you that right now under the sound of my voice, the ones that are listening, that you are coming down and you are reaching each and every person that is crying out to you, Lord. You are taking them through true repentance, Lord, that is not to be repented of. Lord, I thank you that you are pouring your spirit out upon everyone that is under the sound of my voice. Thank you, Father, for everything that you have done for us, Lord. And I thank you that you have saved us. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for relationships that you have given us, Lord. And we give you praise, glory, and honor, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you are with us. You will never leave or forsake us. And from this day forward, Lord, we move forth not by sight, but by faith, knowing that you have us in the palm of your hand and we are protected. We are hidden in Christ. Even if we go underground, that you have hidden us in you. We do not need to fear, for you said these days are coming, and now they're here. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I pray that everyone that prayed that prayer, I pray that you get into God's Word. He will teach you. He will teach you. He will prepare you. He will prepare your hearts. He will prepare your minds. He will prepare your spirits. But please do not fear. Now is the time to start preparing for the possibility of going underground the possibility of having church in our homes with just our friends and family or whoever the Lord may lead to you. Know your word like the back of your hand because now we are about to see the greatest miracle ever in our lifetime. And what miracle is that? I'm talking about the rapture of the church. I'm talking about Jesus calling us off this earth because soon and very soon those sli those skies are going to split open and the Lord is going to call us home. Don't fear what your eyes see. No matter what the waves look like around you, no matter what the wind looks like around you, no matter what the storm looks like around you, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Seek him daily for a relationship with him. Seek him daily. Seek his presence. Read his word. Stay in his word. Meditate on his word. And you will have a relationship with the Lord. A relationship no one can take from you because he said no one can take us from the palm of his hand. No one. Nothing can take us away from him because he's our father. He is our husband. He is our Lord. And He loves us so much. And I pray that you have a blessed day. And remember, no matter what you see, keep your eyes on the Lord. Keep your eyes on Jesus. He will sustain us through this. We just have to trust in Him. Trust in Him. And know that no matter what... We belong to Jesus, and he will call us off this earth soon, soon. So be encouraged by these words. The Lord loves you so much. He really loves you so much. But you got to remember, he is, a, he is also a God of judgment, and judgment is getting ready to fall. Some of it has already started. I love you all. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming so soon. Be you ready always, for he is coming at an hour you least expect. Blessed are they when he comes, he finds working. Blessed are they when he comes, he finds watching, waiting, praying, staying sober do not be lukewarm 
Ask the Lord to set your soul on fire for him.